Hey guys, welcome back, and today we are continuing on with Thimbleweed Park. So, as of last time, we got the map, gained access to the rest of the county, decided to go to the hotel first, which triggered this flashback for Franklin. So, right now, we're pretty much in a hotel. Um, I guess at the moment, I'm just trying to see if um, any of the rooms are open, I guess. Um, to find some kind of clothing to use as a disguise or to trade with that kid. So, so far we've been to floor six, seven, and three and four, I think. So, it looks like we just need to go to five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. I'll just double check six actually. I'm pretty sure we were at six already, but might leave that one for last. So we've been to seven, we've been to eight. Let's go to nine. Now every time we tried to go to the penthouse suite, it would spaz out. So maybe when we get to um 12 or whatever the highest floor is, there might be some stairs or something we can take. Because right now... No, it closed on me. Right now we're not having much luck. 10. Okay. Oh. Uh, use. That doesn't seem to work. This doesn't look good. Whoa. Walk to toilet paper. Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as toilet tissue. Well, there's some paper. Uh, let's use the radio. Oh god. Nope. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. I can't push that. It's now showing I love my cat. <laughs> it's now showing banana banana bananas. Oh my god. It's now showing skiing for cash. It's now showing the rich and the soapy. It's now showing hospital hijinks. I turned it off. Okay, cool. Let's use the bathroom switch. It's toilet paper. Use. No need. I'm very clean. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go into the second room. What's that? We'll pick up the phone book. Okay. Uh, pick up the paper. Just keeping an eye out as well for any items that we can use. Some kind of item of clothing. So far we've got a lot of paper. So we'll just pick that up again. All right. Is it plugged? Someone in? must have left it here. It so getting more paper, so then we can print out his um, manifest thing, whatever it was. What is it? Prospects manifest. Someone must have left it here. It's not plugged in, and I can't see anywhere to plug it in. Okay. So, we're going to end up with a lot of pages. Is that the same painting? Looks like the other painting. Alright. And pick this up as well. Can we pick up the painting? I don't want to pick that up. That's fair enough, Franklin. 
He really does look sad. Like, his, his facial expression is just permanently upset. Pick up door. Alright. And we'll pick up this as well. Okay, so it looks like we're done in this f on this floor. So, let's go to floor 11. And I'm guessing we're going to be finding more paper, maybe? No? Okay. Floor 11, everything seems to be... No. Damn. Try to make it back in before it's shut. Okay, so everything seems to be good up here. And we'll go to floor 12. I'm not expecting much now. And... Everything is shut, yeah. There are no stairs or anything. Okay. Um... Let's go back to the lobby. G loves E. Okay. Get him to print the man- um, not the manifest, why do I keep saying that? We'll get him to print out the prospects so he can give that to the investors and we'll see if we can have a look outside. Uh... Hello, Mr. Edmund. Hello. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? I'd like a private hotel room. Would you like me to call Chuck to see which room you can stay in? No. I mean, that won't be necessary. How else may I be a boo of service? I need that. I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I That's can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck in his... I'm not using that. Chuck's probably monitoring every keystroke. Ah, oh, actually. Oh god, this again. I'm not thirsty. Oh, okay. Alright, we need to get out of here. So, where can we go? Not enough time to leave the hotel area. Too much to get done before the investors arrive. Oh god, don't tell me I'm gonna have to give him one of the bears. Okay, first I'm gonna go turn that guy's music off because that is super annoying and super loud. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Okay, give. Uh, you can't stop the music. Want this bear? Here we go. Guess he can't hear me. Oh god. Okay. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. Right. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You'd do that for me? Yeah, oh, fam. Sick. Who, what do you want to trade? Uh... I'll trade you the bear for your jacket. No faking. Your jacket is grody to the max. Oh, uh, but it keeps me warm. Eat my shorts, no way. I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. Gag no, me. duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, Disgusting. I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude. Er, gnarlicious. Er, oh my god, this, this is this so up, cringe. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude! Uh, later. Uh, can I pick this up? It only plays that one song, and I've already heard enough of that. Nobody okay. can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Alright, let's see if we fool the Sheriff Arena. <laughs> slash Welcome manager, to the Edmund slash Hotel, corner. most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be abu of service? Ah. Uh. Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. Abu, Abu, Abu. 
Oh, that God. is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, Abu. I've got paper. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. Could you use this as photocopying paper? That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? All right, let me give you... This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. Okay, thank you. One task done. Now I should check into a room to prepare for the meeting. Okay, cool. Let's check you in. Yep. Uh, Welcome back to the Edmund Hotel. Okay, How may what I be room of service? will we check into? I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Emilio Estevez, Robert Palmer, George Michael, Franklin, Frank Zappa. Let's go, Emilio, Emilio Estevez. Estevez. Of course, Mr. Estevez. We have a lovely suite, Abu, for you on the sixth floor. Sweet, Your thank suite you. has been fitted with the new state of the art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the tenth floor. How oh. else may I be a boo of service? That explains why it looks so... ...shoveled. Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Estevez. Whoa, well, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you what? get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends Abu back home. That's... It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay That's here, retarded. we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay, so we are on the 6th floor. Can we? And we are room 606. That's creepy. That's like pointing right at the bed. That is unsettling. Hello? Yes. Only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. Okay, so what have we What's got to do? What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. Ah, oh, that's pretty straightforward. Disable surveillance camera. Hmm. It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. I could do with both a hug and a nap right now, but I've got to get ready for my meeting. Okay. Classic pillow bear color. These pillow bear prototypes are going to be the next Cabbage Patch Kids. Okay, sweet. Hmm, that's hey. not right. It's gone blank. There's a part, huh? There seems to be a little problem, Abu, with your hotel tron. There we go, sir, Abu. Huh, some blank paper got stuck here accidentally, Abu. I'll dispose, Abu, of this for you. No need to say thank you. We're here to help. Uh, go away. Um. That doesn't seem to work. I need to somehow bolt this door. Uh. Will this lock it? The key card doesn't do anything from this side of the door. Hmm. 
Alright, let's see what happens when we do this. Hmm, that's not right. It's gone blank. There seems to be a little problem, Abu, with your hotel tron. There we go, sir, Abu. Huh, some blank paper got stuck here accidentally, Abu. I'll dispose, Abu, of this for you. Okay, this no is need to say thank you. We're here to help, Abu. Oh, I know. Turn all the lights off. Okay, cool. Let's try that again. Are you hmm. kidding? That's not right. It's gone blank. There seems to be a little problem, Abu, with your hotel tron. There we go, oh. sir, Abu. Huh. Some blank paper got stuck here accidentally, Abu. I'll dispose, Abu, of this for you. No need to say thank you. We're here to help, Abu. Okay. I could do with both a hug and a nap right now, but I've got to get ready for my meeting. Hmm. I don't want to pick that up. Pick up the telephone? I'm not ready yet. I've still got to stop this camera from watching my I don't want to pick that up. I need to pick... I don't want to pick that up. I need to pick something up. How am I going to short that out? Whoa. Okay. Are you happy now? What? I've done everything you asked. What the hell? So someone's controlling him. How am I gonna get... Maybe there's something I can throw at it. Oh, the ashtray. There was an ashtray in the lobby. Maybe I can use the ashtray and throw it at the little bulb. I don't want to pick that up. Oh, here we go. I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. Don't want you to clean up. It's already been used. Hmm. Is that? Is that something headless? I don't know. I need something to break that bulb with. Okay. Disable surveillance camera. But how? Exactly sure. I can't reach that. It's locked. Maybe there's something on the tenth floor I can use. He told us to stay away from the tenth floor. So, perhaps there's something there that I can use to break the bulb.
It's a photo of a perfectly clean deluxe room. It says that contractors should use these photos to set up rooms correctly, so the Hotel Tron can determine when a room isn't clean. There has to be... something. to disable the cameras, but how? Um, the Pigeon Brothers, perhaps. Two, seven, eight, three. Okay. Hello, you've reached Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later. Okay. And I can't I can't pick up the radio, can I? Oh can I don't I want to pick that up. There's nothing I can open. Is there not something I can use? Uh, that looks pretty much the same. Mm. I don't want to pick that up. Okay, what's in here? Mm. Okay, this is... There is seriously just a whole lot of walking around and doing nothing. I don't pick any of this up. I don't want to pick that up. What? Standard room. What? It's a photo of a clean standard hotel room. It's a photo of a clean deluxe hotel room. Wait a second, I can use that. The doors are closed. What room, what room do I have? I'm on the sixth floor. Okay. So we're going to room 606. Um, let's just use the card on this. Okay. So we will stick this onto here. Waiting. Excellent. I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. No reaction. Perfect. All right. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that yes, meeting. Yes, we have Better finally... Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. Disable that, so if we can turn all this back on. Okay, so... Let's just give them a call. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back okay. to being plain old Franklin. And now we wait. That was quick. Oh, it's you. Who How did you that? know I was here? 
Whoa, 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 who the hell? What was that? Franklin was never seen again. That I was asked weird. the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an <laughs> interesting story. So Franklin's dead as well. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? Jesus, one you're missing, an a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're still working on it. We're not telling the press anything until his family is notified. Respectable feds. Interesting development. Tuh. But you didn't answer. But you my didn't answer question. my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever yeah. want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. No, thank you. That still doesn't answer my question. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym? What was it? Emilio Estevez or something. What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? That man checked in under the name Emilio Estevez. Exactly. So it may not have been Chuck's brother. What did the man with the large nose check into? 606. What room did the man with a large nose check into? It was a room on the sixth floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge like you have. Ahaha. <laughs> Why is it so Why hard is it to so get hard? information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> what? As I've said, I need good reporters so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Exactly. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. Okay, thanks for the thanks info. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Will do. Alright, let's use this badge. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. I'm not showing my badge here. Oh. Welcome it, to the Edmund Hotel, the most beautiful again. hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park he County is annoying. area. How may I be a boo of service? Hello, Sheriff. Why are you moonlighting as a hotel manager? Hello, Sheriff. Why are you moonlighting as the hotel manager? <laughs> no, abu. Uh, I'm not the sheriff. The I'm the again. hotel manager. Uh, the sheriff says that annoying arena, arena. thing all the time. <laughs> Seriously, You'll man. You'll never hear me doing that, abu. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> so unimpressed. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely food. not, Abu. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh. I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an odd arena coincidence. <laughs> what room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. Emilio Estevez. Estevez yeah. Sounds legit. He checked into a room, Abu, on the sixth floor. I'd like that room key for our yeah. investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be a boo of service? Oh, go away. That's what you could do. I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, a boo. Goodbye. All right. Oh, what room did he check into? Oh, it's a speck of dust. All right, use room key.
The picture's that been gum taken gum appears down. to be the only evidence that Franklin was ever in this room. I'm not touching that. Um. I can't pull that. Okay. Okay, so we need some paper. Oh god, we took all the paper. Actually, no. I can't put it in there. Why? I can't put it in there. I'm not touching that. Uh... No need. I'm very clean. Thank you. Thank you. There we it go. It doesn't work with that. Why not? It only works on hotel room doors. Mm. One sheet is enough. It doesn't work with that. I'm not touching that. I already have it. Um. Give. Toilet paper to. Gum. Um. Oh. I don't want to waste the powder on that. Okay. I need to dust the murder weapon. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Oh, she doesn't have Certified a stupid Certified Fingertron notebook. 3000 compatible. Okay, so we need something to put the gum on. Hey, what's going on here? What was all that about? Why couldn't they see me? I'm dead? Hmm. Well, I guess that's probably what I deserve. No, you don't. About time you joined us in the land Whoa. of the almost dead. Who are you? I'm Xavier, the head ghost, and I'm in charge of the ghosts. Okay. I run a tight ship. Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? Don't ask. Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Okay. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, keep up the good work on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. Okay. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. That doesn't seem right. That's irrelevant. New ghost? You're going to scare at least two people who try to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay? Everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? Okay. By the way, your brother died. Chuck's dead? Oh. When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. That is, I know he would have come here to tell me off if he could. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. Maybe I have special powers. Interesting. Alright. And with that, we might just wrap this episode up here. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. And I will see you next time for Thimbleweed Park.